Hey guys, welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil and today I'm going to be showing you the theme from The Greatest Showman. The song is called This Is Me and I'll be teaching you guys how to do the chorus from the intermediate level arrangement. That section we'll be learning today sounds a little something like this. There we have it. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the right hand melody, the left hand chords, and then I'll tell you how to put the hands together. But first, let me remind you that we're offering a free trial right now for you YouTube fans out there. For 30 days, no strings attached, you can try the Playground Sessions app completely free. All you need to do is click the link in this video's description or tap that card above, sign up today for free, and start playing in the Playground app. But let's go ahead and get started in this video. We've got some stuff to cover. I'm going to break down the right hand for you first. The key signature for this song is two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. That tells us we're in the key of D major. Those are the two sharps in this key. The time signature for this level arrangement is 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure, common time. Now, hand position. We're in one main hand position for this whole section, but it's one note wider than a five note position. And since we only have five fingers, at least most of us, we have to reach up a little further, reach down a little further to accommodate a six note position. Let me walk through each note with you and I'll tell you where to switch your hand. Our first note is an F sharp with our two finger. Then we play A with four and B with five. So this is really our first position to start. We walk back down, we play two A's and two F sharps, but however, the first F sharp was with our second finger, the next F sharp is with our third finger. There's our hand position change, it's pretty subtle and it's pretty quick. Then we play five on A, three on F sharp, two on E, and one on D. So that switch down is just so that our thumb can play that D. So basically we go from five on B to one on D, and that's our wide position. Let's keep going. Next note, we go back to F sharp with our two finger again. So now we're jumping back up. So our fifth finger can play B again. But then right here, again, we switch in the middle of those F sharps. Next line down, thumb is on D again. Now for the remainder of this section, we're actually gonna stay right here in this D position. So we'll play D, A, F sharp. The melody is outlining a D triad. We'll do it again. And a third time. Now to end this phrase, we play F sharp, F sharp, E, and our last three notes for this section are Ds. Now yes, there is more, of course, in this song and in this section, but remember, you've gotta to head to the Playground app if you wanna learn the rest. Here is where we'll leave it for today's YouTube video. All right, so now we know the notes and the hand positions for the right hand in this section. What we need to do now is tighten up the rhythms, and in order to do that, I'm going to bring in our band, our backing track, to help us play along to a beat. But I'm not going to go full tempo just yet. First I'll bring in the medium tempo backing track so we can practice at that slower tempo. And when you're feeling good there, then it's time of course to speed it up to full tempo, which we'll do right after this. So medium tempo now. Let's try it. One, two, set, start with rest, and here we go. Rewind, play back that section as many times as you need, but when you're ready, let's try it at full tempo now. Great job so far, guys. That's the right hand. Now let's talk left hand. 
We've got a handful of chords in this section, but none of them are too tricky. No rhythms are too tough in this section. So what I'd like to do is just walk through each chord shape on its own, and then we'll add rhythm, and we'll add the backing track and all that. So let's start by looking at our first chord, and that is D major in root position. We're gonna hold that into a next measure, so a whole note tied to a whole note. Now our second chord is B minor over D. All we're doing is moving this A up to B. The other two notes are staying the same. So here's D, here's B minor over D. Now our third chord, we're also not moving very much at all. Our middle note is moving up to a G. Otherwise the notes stay the same, and this is called a G over D. Our final chord is A over C sharp. We're moving every note here, but not going very far. And this is one great thing about using chord inversions, or slash chords, B minor over D, G over D. These chords allow us to stay within a smaller range, so we're not jumping all over the piano to hit all the root position chords. If all of these chords were in root position, it would look and sound like this. jumping a lot more, but instead what we have with inversions looks a little more like this. Same harmony, different inversions, and that allows us to move a lot less with this left hand. Alright, well, there's the left hand chords, and what I'd like to do now is bring in the backing track so we can start to practice these chords in time. Playing along with the backing track will help us figure out how long do we hold each chord before moving to the next chord, for example. So let's try that now at the medium tempo with our band. Here we go. We're gonna start with a measure of rest. One, two, set, go. So here's rest, here comes D. Hold it to the next measure. Now B minor over D. Hold it. Next chord is G over D. Now just one measure. A over C sharp for one measure. So notice the first two chords had two measures worth of duration. A whole note tied to another whole note. But the final two chords only had one measure each. One whole note. So keep that in mind as we practice along with the full tempo backing track, which I want to do right now. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we're in the home stretch. Great job so far. We've got the right hand down, we've got the left hand down. Now let's just talk about how to put them together. And you're in luck because the left hand part is not too, too tricky for this section, which means putting the hands together is also going to be not as hard as it could be or as hard as some other songs are. The main thing we need to do is worry about when the hands match up, of course. But what we're gonna do is go through beat by beat and really analyze each beat. Are the hands playing together or are they not? So let's do that now, and I'll just go through the first few measures with you, and I'll ask you to pause and do the same for the rest of this whole section. Once we're past that stage, it's time to play with the backing track, and I'll cue up our medium tempo band. But for now, let's walk through beat by beat. Our first measure is just right hand. We can tell because the left hand has a rest. So we know the first two notes are right hand only. And what beat do those notes fall on, by the way? We're resting for beat one, two, and three, so this first F sharp falls on beat four. Those both happen on their own with no left hand. But the downbeat of the next measure, we do play at the same time. Since the left hand is a whole note tied to another whole note, we know that the next few notes are all gonna be right hand. So the rest of this measure, actually, is all right hand alone. And then downbeat of the next measure is also just right hand because the left hand is still holding from before. And in fact, the last two right hand notes in this measure are also just right hand alone. Now, next measure, they play together again. But same thing here, the right hand goes on its own for the rest of the measure. So do you guys see what I mean when I say that you can spend most of your attention on the right hand? 
The left hand is holding for the majority of this song. Yes, it does change to new chords, but as we remember from the left hand breakdown, we're not moving too far because we're using chord inversions, which allow us to stay really close. So all we really need to think about is, of course we need to know what chords we're playing. I hope you guys have practiced the left hand part on its own enough to know that. But beyond that, we need to know what beat do we play that new chord. Otherwise, we're just holding. So, practice this enough times on your own where you really don't have to think about it too much. That's the goal. Then, we'll bring in the medium backing track. And that's where I'm at now. So, when you guys are ready, meet me back here. Medium tempo run through for both hands together. Let's try it. One, two, three. Hey guys, good job. There we have it, hands together at the slow tempo. All we need to do now is speed it up to full tempo. And we're so close, I feel it, we're almost there. Before we do though, I gotta remind you guys, when we're done with this video, you gotta head to the Playground Sessions app to learn the rest, or learn it in different difficulty levels as well. It's your choice. And lucky for you, we're doing a free trial I mentioned at the beginning of this lesson, where you can try the app for 30 days, no strings attached. It's a really, really great deal. And it's meant to say thank you for hanging out with us here on YouTube. We appreciate you guys. So this is a free trial for YouTubers. Click the link in this video's description or tap that card above. Sign up today and start playing in the app for free. You've got 30 days. Check it out. It's really, really awesome. I know you're going to love it. So that's when we're done with this video. We're not there yet. Be patient. Now we're going to wrap up this video. And again, all we need to do is put it to full speed. So if you've practiced the medium tempo enough, I think you have. Meet me here to wrap up this video together. Here it is, this is me from The Greatest Showman. Chorus, hands together full tempo. Here we go. Alright guys, great job! I love teaching you guys videos here on the channel, so make sure you stick around for more. I can't wait to see you for the next one. Give yourselves a round of applause, you did good work today. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Alright guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.